adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. This is lovely. It would make a beautiful gift for my Aunt Ellen. But I'm afraid it's far too expensive. Don't move, anyone. Now keep your mouth shut and do as you're told and nobody will get hurt. Now back up against that wall, all of you. And keep your hands up. Come on, hurry it up. Keep them covered. Locked in the case? I'll just nick next. Pete, will you put that thing away? Not on your life. It's my lucky bullet. Well, you're making me nervous. I think you were born that way, Marty. It's on its way. Good. We'll split up here and meet in Santa Rosa. Oh, oh. oh darn it. <laughs> Always having trouble. Oscar! Oscar! Hey, stop it! Hey, Oscar! You know that's the United States mail you're chewing up? Oh, you're getting me in a lot of trouble. All the things some people will send in the mail. Hey, look, Cisco. What is this? Huh? Hey, look. Look what I find, Cisco. That's a pogo stick. Yeah, a pogo stick? Oh, yes, yeah, Cisco. I remember when I was a little kid with knees no higher than a grasshopper, my uncle Tito, he made one of these and pretty soon I was the best pogo sticker in all the Guadalajara. <laughs> Be careful, Pancho, or it'll throw you. Oh, yeah, he was that one punch he gave you a lesson how to ride on a bogus sticker. Now watch me, huh? Whoa, 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 ah! Cisco, help, he's running away with me. <laughs> whoa, help, bogus stick, stop, please. Look out, Pancho. Let go of it, Pancho. Let go of it. I will break my neck if I do. Not if you land on your head. Hey, 
Close call, Miss. Cisco. Judy Winters. <laughs> what are you doing in this part of the country? I've been living in Santa Rosa for the last two years with my Aunt Ellen. Round up the horses, Pancho. Bueno. You all right, Jasper? Ah, nothing wrong with me. A little snake juice won't cure. <laughs> Holy gee, how's the best look at that mail? Scattered all over tarnation. Let me give him a hand. <laughs> your aunt will skin me alive if she finds any of this mail busted open. Is this your first duty? <laughs> Poor Jasper. He doesn't seem to realize that Aunt Ellen just loves to tease him. You just returned from a trip? Yes, from Sacramento. Aunt Ellen insisted I take a little vacation. You had a good time? Wonderful. And exciting, too. I bet you met your future husband. No, but I was in a jewelry store when it was held up and robbed. And did the robbers get away? They did, as far as I know. Now, listen. I'm telling you again, if you don't stop eating this meal, I'm going to sell you to the butcher. Look. Here we are, Cisco. Good. Now help us pick up the letters. Bueno. Hey, Senor Gold, what have you been doing with this package, eh? You can read English. Give it to me. Ah, don't get angry, Senor Goat. Don't get mad. Now, easy, Senor Goat. Don't, don't look at me like that. It's not a p patrol, you said. Uh oh. Cisco, <laughs> 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 help me, Cisco, help me. I'm afraid that you punch you. Afraid of a little goat. Yeah, but there's nothing to laugh at. That goat is a cannibal and he thinks I'm a tin can and he wants to eat me. He's going to help me. <laughs> come on now, come on. Hey, that's the gal from the jewelry store. We better get out of here before she gets a good look at us. Calm down, Marty. She'll never recognize us. We were mess, remember? Uh. Aunt Ellen! Judy! Oh, Judy, I've been expecting you. Oh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Did you have a nice vacation? Oh, wonderful. And I brought home a guest. Aunt Ellen, this is Cisco Kidd, an old friend of mine. Any friend of Judy's is a friend of mine. Pancho! Oh, oh, lady, what you, what you doing? What you doing? Disco, Disco, please, help! Disco, 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 please, don't, 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 don't do something, Disco, do anything, don't let it catch you, Disco, please, Disco, oh, Disco, huh? Pancho, don't you remember me? How can I remember, Senor Jesus? First time I ever see you, I never see you before, and that's everything but the truth. But I'm Ellen Palmer, the girl you asked to marry 20 years ago, in Laredo. No, you, that's the wrong man. It must be the water fellows. I, I, I never went to Loreto. Besides, I, I don't like the enchiladas. They, 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 they taste like tamales. Then you're not my poncho. No, I don't belong to nobody. Only a one broker in Guadalajara, and I owe him 100 pesos. Well, I declare. You're the spitting image of him. Oh, then I, I think I don't going to spit no more. Eh? 
Let's wait, Cisco. Hey, Cisco, don't, don't let him catch me, Cisco. Don't let him catch me. Get out of here, you animated garbage collector. Shoo, cat. Where in tarnation did that goat come from? Uh, he came in the mail, Miss Ellen, but we lost the owner's address. Lost the address? Jasper Peabody, if you don't find that owner, I'll send you both to the dead letter office. Now, get me the key to number nine. Yes. She's going. Let, let's win. <laughs> Not another word, Pancho. Judy, now you show them up to room number nine. It's our very best room. You'll be very comfortable there, dear boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper Peabody, what have you been doing to the United States mail? Uh, nothing, Miss Owen. We had an accident with the buckboard. The buckboard? One smack into a tree. What? Uh, uh, but it wasn't my fault. You asked Miss Cutie. Jasper Peabody, I'll skin you three ways down the middle and I'll... I gotta go now. Jasper, you come back here. I'll get him for you, ma'am. Wait a minute, Yoko, your boss wants to see you. Well, she can't have me. Boom! A smart Alec, huh? No, no! Oh. Oh. Jasper! the idea of beating up on this old man. Well, he asked for it. Stomp on my pet corn and kick him in the shin. All I was trying to do was get him back to the hotel like that old dame wanted. Is that true, Jasper? Yes, but I ain't going back till she cools off a bit. Here's your hat, mister. I'm sorry, mister, but you didn't have to beat up on him. Well, what do you think I was going to do? Stand here and let him kick me around? Just a minute. You dropped something. This exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid will continue in just a moment. Howdy. Howdy. I'd like a room. Yes, sir. Just sign right there. Number eight upstairs and turn to your right. Do you have any trouble? Just taller. Is there any mail for me? I'm expecting a rather important package. The name is Grant. No. Are you sure? What do you want me to do? Swear to it on the stack of Bibles? Look, Mrs., this is very important to me. I'd appreciate it very much if you'd look again. Well, if you put it that way. It's about this long and about this wide, about that thick. Well, the only other package here has no name on it. And it has to go back to the dead letter office in Washington. That's it. That's my package. Well, here, you can't do that. Give me that package or I'll blow you the kingdom come. That's United States mail, and that's piracy. They throw you in jail and throw the key away. You'll never get away with that. Say, you can't come back here. Get out of the way, Yoko. Well, say, you want to get tough, do you? Oh, you want to play some more, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Swing the hash. What happened, Cisco? Brother, I had a package. Well, Cisco, how can I run when you were in trouble? I ain't Pancho's help. 
Do what I tell you or I'm not going to give you any more tamales. Oh, tamales? Oh, that's different. Pancho! Man, I think he's afraid of me. Pancho? Pancho, where are you? <laughs> Why, Pancho? What are you doing in that pile of hay? Senator, this is no time for cross puzzle riddles. <laughs> Holy smoke, the god is eating up the package. Let's go for that, you pesky critter. I'll put you in jail for destroying United States mail. <laughs> you let go of it. Let's, let's go of that package. Yeah, but Cisco ain't told me to hide it. I don't care what anybody said. Let's go. Let's go of that. Stop that package. Let's get that package. They shot you, the brutes, you dear boy. Are you in much pain? Yeah, no, but I will be if I don't get out of this town pretty quick. Now, now you stay right there, Pancho, and Ellen will fix you up right. Hey, fix me up. That's just what I'm afraid of. What happened? Who fired that shot? Pancho, where are you? Over here, Cisco. Pancho. What happened? Oh, only a flea bite here. Those hombres is bad shots. Where's the package? I tried to hide it, but they, they took it. Where are they? They went this way in the bucket board. There must be something very valuable in that package. Otherwise, they wouldn't try to steal it. I... Well, I've seen that brooch before. You have? Well, yes, in that jewelry store in Sacramento. I was looking at it when those bandits walked in. Hmm. The loot must be in the package. That's why they mailed it to themselves. I'm going after them. Not without me, you don't. But your arm, Pancho. Cisco, that ain't nothing. Let's get our guns and win. You're staying right here. Sandra, all of you want to get in trouble by himself. Eh? <laughs> Cisco, wait for me. Cisco. We'll cut around and get in front of them, Pancho.
bullets, mister. Mister, I'll give you just one minute to give up. Don't shoot. I'll give up. All right. Walk out on the open. Better take a few lessons before you try another gun roll, mister. Start walking. Sir, I know they were crooks the minute I looked at them. You can't fool old Jasper Peabody, no siree. You cackle like a wet hen, Jasper. Doesn't he, Pancho? That all depends on which side of the hand you look at. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? Why, you have a mole on your neck, just like my poncho has. You are my poncho. <laughs> poncho, wait for me. <laughs> Kid, we'll be back in a moment. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. 